What I'm here to talk about is how we've developed um, our approach in terms of resourcing within the Trust, uh, one of the largest teaching hospitals in the England. Um, we haven't got it all right, still got frustrations. Part of my reason for being here is a um, bit of time out, a bit of headspace, hopefully some interesting questions. Um, hopefully I'll be able to answer them or go, yeah, that's a good point, we'll take that on board. Because one of the bits that we're doing is continually improving, updating, amending uh, this whole project. So this is our journey in terms of where we've gone so far. So 2003, we got a new chief executive, uh, Julian Hartley. He introduced that Leeds Way and the platform and developed it. Um, 2004, we launched our careers site, which I'll touch on. Um, and we got a new director of HR who asked for a review of recruitment. Because in terms of problems in the trust, uh, there were three main areas. One was informatics and IT infrastructure. One was the general estate. And two was recruitment. Um, I did the review because I wasn't actually involved in recruitment at the time, although I'd previously managed that area. Um, did the review, came up with a recommendation of how to go forward and um, still not quite sure, but I ended up managing the team. So we pulled three teams together. Um, the volunteer service is still in a different area, but we've built a way of actually working with them far more collaboratively because it was a bit of a, we'll do it when we have a bit of time. Uh, process. So we, we've improved that. We've pulled the other three teams together. Um, and in the background, we've been working on the careers site, which is my project. We updated the careers site um, a couple of years ago, so we're on to the second version of the careers site. We launched our onboarding system in 2016 for doctors in February, everyone else in September. We phased it just to make sure that it would work and um, to be honest, our medical staffing team or the people working it, with it were far more receptive and uh, were willing to take the risk. Um, and they took it in February, because in uh, August we have a big house change. Uh, so junior doctors rotate hospitals. and We typically have somewhere around 500 to 600 junior doctors all starting on the same day. Um, so we need to process them. So actually going through, uh, typically we'd be doing late nights, weekends, um, and then the rest of August and half of September, we'd be catching up with paperwork. And obviously, when I say we, I mean the team. I, they don't let me near any of this quite sensibly. Um, so we rolled it out. It really worked well. We launched it for the other staff uh, in September. And it's for external candidates at the moment. So internal candidates uh, aren't on the system. But we want to develop that next. So when somebody starts, uh, we, in resourcing, get a instruction to a point form. We update information, we upload it onto the backing system for this, which we call our control panel. It automatically sends out an email to the individual inviting them to log on. We send them a text uh, because it automatically often goes into junk mail and they don't see it. But we can track everything. So we can see if people have logged on. We can see how long it takes them to update the system. Um, we've had one doctor saying that the system was utterly rubbish. We checked, he hadn't logged on. Uh, so we were able to go back to him and go, try logging on. Um, but we did it in the Leeds way. We were nice. This is, this is the reason I don't, they don't let me near people. Um, so basically what this system does, they can go through all their checks. So it goes through a staggered process. This is totally bespoke, so you can design it however you want. Um, we've put it in place that people can't progress through. They have to fill in all the forms as they go through. Um, there's lots of information there about day one in terms of induction, where to go, back in documentation, links to our Facebook page for the Trust, our local um, LTHT people uh, Twitter account, and they can see their status as well. And as I mentioned on the career site, there's a nice video from Julian talking about, thank you for looking at the site. On here, there's a nice video of him saying, congratulations, welcome, hope you get through the process really quickly. There's other content here to actually see and learn about the Leeds way and our values. So there's lots of video content on there, lots of different bits of information. So one of the questions I get asked quite often is, um, there's a system called Track, which lots of NHS organisations use. Why didn't you go down that route? We used this, we started this as an engagement project. We started with engagement and we've pushed it out. So this is very much designed with the candidate in mind. Track, as I understand it from what I've seen, is around monitoring where you are for the recruitments and for managers. And if that's what you want, that's fine. But that's not the way we came into this. So this for us really works well. Uh, the feedback we get from candidates is really positive. There's one or two things we could 
improve on, um, but we'll, we'll work on those for onboarding too. The other bit it does, which I think is really clever, takes people through the checks, so we make sure that people, when they turn up for a pre-employment check and they ha all have to do so, have the right to work documents, identification documents, and DBS documents if DBS is actually required, but it's all tailored through. So they put on sliders, they say which documents they've got, and then we tell them to bring it to the pre-employment check, which they can book themselves, and they get a text the night before just to remind them to turn up. So. Our DNA rates have dropped, still not sort, totally sorted, and our failure rate of people bringing the wrong documents has dropped as well. Uh, so we used to spend time, probably 15, 20 minutes, talking to individuals, trying to get hold of them, talking them through what documents to bring. That's all gone now, so that's a massive saving for our team. People just book it themselves. We found that it's smoothed the booking period, so actually we have a lot smoother time slots. We can manage when the slots are available, so we, if we've got a training day, like we have on Friday afternoon, we can just block the diary out so people can't book appointments and we can limit the number of bookings. Um, it's, it's totally designed by us. We split it through medical staffing and the non-medical side, but we could combine them going through and it works really well. Um, that's all documents, so contract will be there, all policies and documents will be there. We keep the system live after people have left. So if they want to go back in and see a document, it'll be there. So, you know, for, for me to try and find my contract, it was a paper one, it'll be in one of three places, one of which is the loft. If I was on this system, I could just go straight onto it. And then we have lots of video. So talking about the Leeds Way, patient safety, we have our executive directors and other members of staff talking about values, behaviours. Appraisal is very big in our organisation. And for non-medical staff, we typically get about 96% of our staff have an appraisal. But that talks through what it's about, why it's important to us, and what to expect from the appraisal process. And then as part of the day one, we got feedback from starters saying they didn't really know where to go. Uh, fortunately for us, Google Maps have been around the site, so we can go through the whole process in terms of linking it through so you can see, people can see which building to go to for induction, um, and they can see where to go to if they're in certain buildings. And so what it's done, and this is sort of one of the questions was around sort of improvement, and in terms of the NHS, there's lots of pressure around saving money. Uh, we've taken out two posts because of this system. We think, well, we've calculated we save about 2,000 hours a, month, a year through this system. About, uh, for the candidate, they used to come in, spend 90 minutes with us, filled their name in 16 times, if you're a junior doctor, you can rotate to two or three organisations a year. Can you imagine that every time? All of this is also populated, fills all the information in, um, saves a load of time. So our pre-employment check meeting now is down to 20 minutes. We monitor where it, where it takes more than 20 minutes. We, the team record why it takes that, and we, we're constantly improving, reviewing our processes, not just with the system, but also our other ways of working. So we've redesigned our office space, uh, changed our, uh, where reception is, where the DBS offices are. So it's improved DNA rates, um, it's saved our time, our team love it. Uh, we've done away with paper. Uh, when I started, we used to walk around paper files, personal files for all staff. Don't do any of that now. Um, we have airport style scanners, so we can check um, passports and other documents that they're valid, um, and check with the chip that this is the right picture. Um, we have regular training for our staff to identify um, false documentation. Um, we load then all of the documents onto our server, so it's all uh, paper. We send that out to the managers rather than walking around files. So you know, we have about 3,000 starters a year, new starters. Um, that was a lot of walking for our staff. An audit loved this system because all the documents are available. All the checks and documents on the system are auditable. You can put phone calls in. I said when we had a member of Prospective member of staff saying that they had, the system was rubbish, we were able to show, well, actually, you haven't been on it. Quick screen grab, sent it to them, um, worked really well. So we audit, um, audited the system and our processes when we got three stars, which is full assurance. I didn't think you could actually get three stars for an audit report until this one, so that was really good. So for us, uh, strong employer brand, the Leeds way is fundamental to everything what we, in what we do. Everything comes back to patient-centred, that's the most important one. The team have really embraced that. Um, the staff really enjoy it. They, 
The system works really well. We've got a process now around new hires and pre-hiring people onto ESR, which means when people go to corporate induction, and everybody goes to corporate induction, we have one every week, um, they have their ID badge, they have their access cards to get into the different buildings, and they have all the logons for the IT systems which they need. So when they actually go back into where they're working, they're ready to work, uh, apart from one department which insists on doing it themselves for some reason. But we know from that team that people can take three or four days or the next week before they're onto the system. So that's another bit we want to sort out. The visibility is working really well. It means if people go off, other people can pick the work up really quickly. Um, so it, it works well in that respect. Team working has been strengthened through it, but we can also then hive off people from different teams to pick up work, whereas before it would have been trying to work through a pile of files, typically that big or bigger. Um, we've done a couple of surveys. New starters love the system, um, both in terms of the time saved for them. We have had a few complaints about having to come in for the pre-employment check and only been in for 20 minutes, whereas before it was having to come in for 90 minutes, so you can't please all the people. Um, and so the, the bits are there, I won't go through it, but I'm, we're really pleased with it. I think it's working really well. There's more to go at, uh, and we will go at it.